Hey there guys, so today I'm going to show you a very interesting mod for GTA 5 that what essentially it does is it adds FSR into the game itself. Now it's different than using a program like the lossless scaling tool or something like Magpie, where those are external programs that essentially apply a filter over the game itself. This makes it so that it is an option within the game itself. Now this is FSR 1.0, it isn't FSR 2 or anything like that, but this is great because since we're using an APU here, that means that the overhead that we're going to have from FSR is going to be significantly lower and you see it here with a game running with essentially the normal in-game graphics settings which are technically the lowest that they go down to for the most part but we're running this at 25 watts and you can see that fsr is currently running at what is essentially the balanced quality setting and i'll show you right now exactly how you go about installing this program you pretty much just go to the github which is linked down below and you just download the zip file that has the actual mod itself it's actually just going to be two files in here that you're going to be using and these two files you just need to drop into the actual game's directory itself and that's it that's all you have to do and now you're going to have an option to actually enable fsr within the in-game graphics themselves this only works with directx 11 though so as long as you're running the game with the directx 11 api all you have to do is go down to the advanced graphics and here you'll see the option for frame scaling mode and here you could choose the exact setting that you want this to be now you have a wide variety of different scaling options with the lowest being 50 percent but we're going to go with what is essentially the equivalent of the balance preset which is the 0.667 option we'll take a look at the game actually running with this specific setting and you can see here that we're looking right now at the 15 watt tdp and we're just using the built-in benchmark just for comparison's sake it is not 100 percent accurate to what the performance is going to be like within the actual game itself but it will actually let us compare the difference between the two options here and again we are running with mostly the normal graphic settings and you can see that at the stock 15 watt tdp there is a pretty decent gain to be had in the game itself in a lot of sections you're pretty much going to be seeing a nice boost in your averages and your one percent lows and that uplift in the one percent lows is going to be the biggest deal here now obviously there is going to be a little bit of an impact to the visual quality of the game itself but it actually looks for the most part pretty decent and the performance boost is actually really nice if you're especially stuck on the stock 15 watt tdp and you're just on a system that can't go any higher this is going to boost your performance pretty noticeably and the boost in the one percent lows is just going to make the overall all experience of playing the game noticeably better and i think that it is definitely a worthwhile move and we do have a little bit of headroom here where if you don't mind a little bit of an impact in the gains here you can always go up to the quality or the ultra quality preset there are still gains to be had here it's just going to be one of those things where it's not going to be as big of a performance boost if you're using the higher quality fsr settings but any performance uplift will be at least welcome and again if you're not willing to take that big of a hit in terms of visual quality you'll at least be able to boost your performance just a tad bit and this jump also carries over at the 25 watt tdp where you can see the two side by side here there is a noticeable jump where we are getting very very close to just getting a completely rock solid gaming experience with our one percent lows getting very very close to being at an above 60 fps experience in general it does feel extremely nice to play at this point but again there is that visual quality impact our averages do get a nice bump here and if you're willing to sacrifice a bit of that you can always just raise the quality of the fsr and boost the overall experience but of course this is just the built-in benchmark itself and it's not one of my favorite built-in benchmarks for one i can really only show one scene because it's one of those benchmarks that unfortunately has black screen transitions in between each scene that essentially completely mess up what the averages and one percent lows actually look like because for a few seconds you get frames where you're getting hundreds of frames per second which is going to throw off your averages dramatically but you can see that running through this specific scene in general there is a noticeable improvement and if you look at the side by side just of what you can see of the image here there is a little bit more aliasing happening but it's nothing substantial and i genuinely think that most people could just ignore it at some point like you play this enough you're not even going to notice that anymore and again we are at the balanced preset you can always go with the quality or ultra quality preset and in fact it actually even lets you do essentially super sampling with fsr where you can go to 1.5 x the resolution so you can actually run this at an even higher resolution than 1080p though i don't really see what the benefit would be that of that in a system with no graphics card in general it's a nice little boost to the overall experience of playing gta 5 and it does give you the option to start to turn up some of the graphics settings as well as long as you're willing to have a little bit of a sacrifice to the resolution itself in general i think it is a worthwhile move and if you're interested in taking a look at it the github is linked down below and as you saw it is extremely easy to set up and get going and i think it's going to be a worthwhile effort for you so anyways i hope you found 
around this look at this interesting little mod to be interesting and useful if you did be sure to subscribe if you would like to support the channel you can do that by becoming a member for as little as a dollar a month or you can check out the amazon affiliate links down below all of that is greatly appreciated but anyways i will catch you guys in the next one